you know, I just love color, that's my subject. And so this is just a cobalt blue over a cobalt blue, but it, if, you know, I'm gonna leave just enough. The way the color reacts against darker colors, it just, it just drives, drives me. My name is Adam McCauley, I live in Duluth, Minnesota, and I, I'm a painter. I use different things to kind of lift paint and it will leave like, you know, like a little bit of a mark. I want something that will break up the painting surface. I think that's my primary goal with using the texture. So you can see some of the underpainting and then you can see some of the action on top. He's got a fascinating um, way of layering and allowing his processes to really show. The sand wrecks the sinks too. But it adds, it, it does, in, in my process, it does two things. It kind of helps me negate, negate the thicker passages, and it also like adds something for the next color to go over it. And his surfaces are just, there's something just so lush and fascinating about them. I mean, you just kind of want to dive in. It's about the interaction of the color that's underneath with the color on top. So everything painted before actually really affects how the uh, finished painting will be. Now immediately when I look at this piece, like this is too figurative for me. You know, like I see immediately like a head. And so I don't, I don't, I don't like that element in there. So I think what I'll do is I'll tape it off right here. Because I kind of like this thick red paint right here. Some people are afraid of purely abstract work and um, they might say, oh, I could do that. And my response is, I think you should try it. I want it to be layered. So when you look at it, it reveals more of its, more of its history too. You know, like, oh, he made a mark here. It adds another layer of thought not just the initial painting that he had in mind, but it's using that and going forward with it. I guess it comes down to beauty. I'm trying to make something that's beautiful or interesting to come into the world. And, and I think if people see the same things, I think that's when I actually succeed. You know, I mean, then I'm like, you see it, you feel it, you understand it, and then it makes it worthwhile. I mean, painting itself is worthwhile, but there's always a reward, you know, and you're always trying to find that.